psychosis and a piece of light up the sky heartbeat like a drum grab hold of the world my son you are you are the one psychosis and a piece of light up the sky heartbeat like a drum grab hold of the world my son you are you are the one um, it started in grade six Oxfam did a, a presentation in uh, in our school about sweatshops and I got involved in their no sweat campaign lobbying the city for a, a ethical purchasing policy and uh, and um, feeling feeling that I really could as a youth as an individual um, affect change and make a difference I got involved in the outdoor school program in uh, Marion Graham in grade 11 in a pilot project class called Global Citizenship um, where um, we would talk about international issues and, and, and local issues and what we could do in the city um, to, to affect change and, uh, and that was, there, those were pretty kind of eye-opening, I guess, stepping stones in, in my international work. I was teaching a couple of years ago in uh, grade six class, and it was really great, uh, great experience. But then I, I found that I was kind of I needed something a little bit more. I needed I wanted to travel and um, do some international work. So I had friends that had done Canada World Youth, so so I applied. I, I was actually a participant last year, and we went to Honduras and Ontario. And this year, they hired me back as a supervisor. I was born in Rwanda, but unfortunately I left my country when I was still young. And I grew up in a different country, and before coming here I was living in Malawi, where I did my school. I, when I was growing up, I was okay, my parents were working, going to school, I had no problem. But when I got, when I became a refugee, I started realizing, oh, they are such a poor, poor kind of lifestyle. And then I started thinking, so what sh can we be doing to be helping people just who have no choice other than living in those situations? Just a number of things fell into place. Engineers Without Borders was a, an organization that I read about. I did a small amount of reading about the work they were doing overseas, and I thought it would be really exciting to be a part of that. There was a small write-up about uh, agriculture in Ghana and water and sanitation work. Um, so it was exciting to read about it. The next thing is that it was engineering, and I was thinking about going into engineering for school, and the Regina chapter had just started. My main um, position right now is mother, but I'm also doing the music thing, and I've, I've started booking shows again, and you know, slowly getting back into the, the performance. I ended up writing all these songs about you know, motherhood, and how important my son is to me, and how important um, issues, social issues, all our issues have become, indigenous rights issues now because I have this little being that's right in front of me, in, tangible, that I want to, you know, have a, a future. I want him to have something here. I worked with a number of groups over the years and uh, when the opportunity came up to come back home and, and I guess, um, you know, reawaken some of my roots working um, locally on global justice issues and that was something I was uh, particularly excited about because it involved young people. I've been volunteering different organizations for for a long time. I felt it would be a really good experience to um, go down to Nicaragua to work with um, kids down there um, because that's a, half of like who I am is from that country and and really thought it would be a good idea to get more connected with that and um, and give back to that community as well. I think I always had an interest in uh, international work um, sort of growing up on the stories, my parents giving me stories about Norman Bethune and uh, sort of the heroics of the Médecins Sans Frontières. So it kind of always in the back of my mind that I might like to do that kind of work. Uh, and then at the U of S, uh, University of Saskatchewan, where I went to medical school, there's a program uh, called Making the Links. Uh, you have the opportunity to do that, to go to Mozambique and work in the, the rural hospital there in Masinga. I've always personally been interested in the issues of international development and the ways that the international community is affected by the issues that we do at home or vice versa. Um, for me, I started studying international development in university three years ago and it was something very important because it represented to me a way that in which that I, everything I saw in the world that represented injustice or inequality or just plain unfairness that I could possibly take strides against and see what I could personally do to change. It's always been a part of my life. Um, 
being an international work. I think being a second generation Canadian, I've always known about other cultures, I've always been aware of it. I started out in Oxfam as an intern in Saskatoon, and then I started taking over the campus club at the University of Saskatchewan. But before that I lived in Scotland and I worked in an Oxfam shop, and that's where I found out about Oxfam.